All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode six of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So we are here in the Dwemer Museum. You can see all the, the guards walking around, all the display cases, the cool statues, right? This is what we were able to gain access to by helping uh, Kasamo. So the reason we're here is because after, at the, at the end of the last episode, we came in here and noticed that there's all of these, oh, that's a bad example. All of these display cases, and some of them are novice, and some of them are unlocked, but then some of them are expert. And we did a little test, and we discovered that the guards do not care if you pick these locks, which is great for experience. Because we're, we're trying to get to level 90 uh, in our lock picking, we want to be able to do master locks. And once we can do master locks, we're going to be carrying around like necklaces and gauntlets that boost our lock picking. Just because master locks seriously help, right? There's some serious loot in there. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to do... Basically, I'm going to go through, I'm going to pick every single lock in this room. But that's going to be really boring to watch on, you know, YouTube. Because it's probably going to take me about 15 to 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is normally when I go through a large number of lock picks I just kind of snap my fingers and it's done and I think what I'm gonna do this time be, just because a lot of the well you know we'll just do it in one big snap right I was thinking of doing it one time you know you know what I changed my mind I or I, we're gonna go back to it so I'm gonna snap my fingers and we're gonna go through all of them right so it's gonna be a nice big ridiculous montage of going through there, there's 30 of them I counted so we're gonna go through 30 different locks in like 15 seconds. You ready? All right. All right, here we go. Snap, 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 snap. And level 76. Snap, 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 snap. Level 77, nice. Snap, snap, snap. Hey, 78, very nice. Snap. Oh, snap, 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 snap. Level 79. Snap, snap, snap. Level 80. Snap, snap, snap. 81. Snap, 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 snap. Ding. All right, we did it. We. We made it through. Uh, in game, it's 11:30, which 50 p.m., which is what we wanted to do. We went from level 75 to 82. Um, do I still have the llama mask? No, I, I know what you're talking about. It was like a, a plastic mask. I uh, I don't think I have it. I think I might have donated it, unfortunately. But we did it. We passed the time. We passed about two hours in here. We did manage to get a total level. And look at that, seven levels of lock picking. We used up, we started with 80 lock picks and now we have like 29 of them. So we used 50 lock picks, right? But we got seven levels and it took like 20 minutes. So it wasn't too bad, right? Uh, there it is, we'll read this one. Life isn't over, you still get smarter, cleverer, more cleverer, or more experienced or meaner, but your body and soul aren't going through aren't just aren't going to get any younger it's true it is true as i butchered it that's why i don't read them because i usually just butcher them so what we're gonna do is we are where is it oh it must be a miscellaneous quest we are going to huh oh does it not show it we need to find the fascinating we need to find out where this shrine of Talos is. Where is it? Um, note. Wish it would have been more specific. So we're gonna go find it right now, and we'll jump to jump to there. Right? Let's do it. So, what we're probably gonna do, because I completely lost track of the time, is. Oh wait, found it. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Yay, we found it. Oh, he's here, nice. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. Mm. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. Uh, I'll... <laughs> 
Yeah, well, uh, what are you talking you about? Answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Uh, you want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Okay. Uh... Who was Wayland, right? This guy? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Whalen, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Uh, okay, so the Warrens, the under area. So, what do you know about Mark? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay. I think we found a key to her room, right? Uh, so you've looked into the yes. murders? What have you found? Anything? It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Hmm. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got buried. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Hmm. Alright. Keep your eyes and ears open. Nice place. All right, it's investigation time, so we're going to put on our investigation mask. Oh, there we go. See what we can do. So, which room is his? Like, I'm going back and forth here. Oh, this is Waylon's room. See, I was like, what the hell? Oh, there's nothing here. Unless there's something in this chest. Note. All right. What we got? That's why I was so confused. You've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You will know what to do. And. Interesting. Whoa. Let's see if we can't bring this back up to the, uh... What's the guy's name? You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Excuse me? Who sent you? Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see True. what you're made of. Really, bro? Oh, it took some skooma too, huh? We could kill him. You made you piece of pit bait. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. It's gonna let me talk to him. Now talk, uh, talk, or I send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. Huh. All right. Well, there we go. We got our answer. A little buggy, but we got our answer. Let's see if we can't give a progress update here. I don't know if it'll still be here right at 1 a.m., but we're going to find out. Eltris. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Uh, Waylon got his orders from Nepos. Nepos the Nose? He's been in Markarth forever, and he's well respected among the natives of the Reach. Good work. Here's your gold. I have a feeling Nepos gets his own orders, though. If you find out, I'll have more for you. Hmm. All right. Be careful who you talk to. Hey, watch it. So, oh, here we don't we don't want any spoilers. But that's her room at the end of the hallway. This is our room, right here, right, that we can sleep. Eric, uh, I guess you'll just have to... Well, Eric, maybe we can claim this room as ours, as ours right? 
We know he has one bed, but... Hmm... So this is your finest room, huh? I won't take any of the gold or anything there. Not much here, right? Hmm. At least I don't think there is, right? Anything in here, maybe? Margaret's journal! Alright. Margaret's journal. Journal Margaret's. Meeting at the treasury house. Took them long enough. I wish you would update the quest after you're done reading, right? Because a lot of people, they just close it and, you know, beeline to the next thing. Thonar Silverblood is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bully local, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Hmm. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Tullius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to Sidna Mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation on Thonar. There are shadows around every corner in the city, and I know I'm being watched. Hmm. So... Looks like she was reporting to General Tullius, right? She was sent in order to capture the deed to the mine because the Empire doesn't want a bunch of criminals under control of the Stormcloaks. And they want to beef up security for some reason, right? Bunghell asks, uh, why is ale... What, what does ale is cheaper than wine? Or the cheaper than blood mean? Um, I don't know. It's a good question. All right, well, what we'll do, it's like, uh, it's almost 2 a.m., so we'll sleep. We have this. I guess our next one is to go talk to Thonar, right? Because he was the one that, what is it, Margaret last spoke to, so. We'll do seven hours. Maybe we'll, uh, we're gonna look around for you, the... I see you snooping around asking questions back off you don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here uh i'm not trying to cause trouble You're finding it that's bad enough this is your last warning outsider we keep the peace here stay out of our business wow okay my goodness red guard craftsmanship in every piece Okay, bro. A man like me makes a lot of enemies. People are always trying to cheat me. Mm. I have some questions about Margaret. You mean that woman who was attacked in the market? Didn't know her. Guards dragged her body away. Last we'll hear of that. Mm. Good day. Okay. So yeah, we we found whatever his name was, uh Eltris, but he didn't want to talk to us in the daylight. So I think what we want to do is... It's it's in here, right? Thonar? Is that the treasury house? Yes. Yeah, he's at the treasury house. Oh, so we, we could look into... Nepos' house? Or talk to Thonar? Interesting. Why don't we try... Nepos first. Where's his house? Is it up here? Oh, I think it's... Yeah, yeah, it's up here. Alright, no spoilers. So maybe he's home. We'll, uh, we'll talk to him a little bit, right? See what he is. Excuse me. What's your business here? Uh... Who are you? If you must know, I'm the maid. And the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send him in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Hello. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? 
You, yeah, you sent a thug after me. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Why? Because my king told me to. Madanoc. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Hmm. Why are you telling me this? My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. Uh, uh, we know who Madanak, uh, Madanak is. He's the leader. I'm sorry. Oh! oh here. Eric! Ah! Ah! Oh my god! What the heck? Alright, well... That was pretty good. Um, fancy clothes. Take Nippos' journal here. Good lord. Killed all of his servants. He is back here. The treasury house, my goodness. You lost? No, we are not lost. We are very wealthy. And we have 20,000 gold that we wish to make uh, as a deposit into the treasury house. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Oh. Um... Well, what kind of patrons do you have? For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. Yes, that, you know, Nepos the Nose is a one wonderful man. Um, I need to see Thonar. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Uh, God, what is it with you people? Still wasn't asking. Go. Go right ahead, then. Don't let me keep you. <sighs> I have records I need to tend to. Mm-hmm. Where is he? Let's see if I can find him. I went the wrong way. Who are you? I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. Uh, you're married? What's he like? He's the real head of this family. He may not be the eldest, but all the work that keeps us respected is handled by my Thonar. Hmm, okay. Yes, I was bored talking to you anyway. There he is. You! What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. Well... I want answers about the Forsworn. We're getting more forceful here. We're like, no, what's, what the hell's going on here? They're crazy. Think they rule the Reach. Well, guess who really runs things around here? Me. I own the mind. I make the coin pass through the right hands. That answer your damn questions. Now get out. For the Forsworn! What? By the gods! What was that? Over here! <laughs> what was that? What in the hell? Someone there. Oh my god! Mercy! They killed his wife! <laughs> we won't take any of her stuff. Where is he? My wife. 
They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his forsworn backside. Will, will you talk now? We're not going to say you deserved it, but... Fine. You want to know what the forsworn really are? They are my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. You made a deal with the Forsworn. When their uprising was crushed, I had Madanak brought to me. He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little Forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's out of control. Hmm. And so, Sidna Mine, My right? Prison, well, yeah, we know the it's the source of half the silver in Skyrim, the most secure prison in Damriel. No one escapes. I thought keeping Madanak down there would keep him under control. Why? Well, uh, want me to take care of him? You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. <coughs> you and Madanak are animals. And I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house. Hmm. Here, we'll take out the trash with us. And fine, we're taking all of her golden rings and stuff. Big jerk. And you! I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. Mm hmm I have records I need to tend to. Oh, we can't get into that. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're not gonna take all your silver, because we're reasonably good people. Wasn't there another journal that we received? Am I missing it? Oh, uh, yeah, Nebos's journal. We didn't read that yet. Forgot to read it. Guilt ridden in my old age. Um, so many young sense of their deaths, all in the name of the Forsworn, all in the name of Madnock. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what choice do I have but to do as I am instructed? You cannot do what he tells you to do, bro. You big dingus? Ah, <sighs> all right. We'll return to him. I don't know if he's gonna be in the, uh, at the temple right now but we might have to wait until midnight. We can look though. Maybe he's here. We warned you, but you just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. The guards are corrupt. Thora was paying you. We have nice arrangement in this city. And we're not letting you get in the way. You have a problem with that? Take it up with Madanak. I'm sure the king in rags and his force one would love to meet you. Now you're coming with us. It's a life sentence in Sidna Mine for you. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Fine. I'll come You'll never quietly. See the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. Bum, bum, bum. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now. And I can't see anything. You to earn your key. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? Uh, when do I get out? You won't. The Jarl has ordered a life sentence for you. Get comfortable in the dark, because you'll never see the sun again. All right, open her up. Now you, get down there. What? But I never had breakfast. Oh, we got to keep all of our quest items, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, we don't even have a lantern. Oh, we got some straw, okay. Oh, man. All right, we'll grab some village wine here.
so there we go. We definitely should have eaten before we came in. And I do believe... Let's see. We'll we'll talk to everybody. We'll collect as many resources as we can. Okay, take a look at this. Fresh meat. <laughs> oh, I'm the fresh meat. I was like, where? Fresh meat? Oh. There are clothes over here, sweetie. Not that I mind of you, of course, but still. <laughs> All right, there we go. Speak to me, new blood. Which one, you? What are you in for, new blood? Um, I guess killing a guy who asks questions. Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, <laughs> new blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice: serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Um, a shiv? Small blade, easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here, Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Hmm. We know what Skuma is. What are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Nice. Why, why'd you join the Forsworn? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in your kinsman's blood. Best you not be there on that day, Nord. Hmm, okay. Where are the guards? They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. Jesus. Uh, where's Madnock? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. He already no knows. To Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borko the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borko the Beast. Who's Borko the Beast? Madinak's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old fashioned like that. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh. Hello. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Um. I, it, it was exciting. I felt the, the rush of blood and smiles. A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. Uh, I need to see a madman. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> hmm. Um. <laughs> Let's see if we can threaten him. Let me through, pig face. Those eyes. All right, killer, go on through. <laughs> but don't try anything. Modernock knows more than you think. Until next time. I don't have time for all of your nonsense. Oh, it's so dark. <clears throat> I am thirsty. And I don't think drinking alcohol is gonna solve that. Wow, nice place you got here. You're not supposed to be in here. Uh sorry, am I interrupting? It seem so. That's a nice hat you have there. Thanks. I like my hat, too. Huh. Um, it's Madnock. Well, well, look at you. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Uh... Hmm. Well, I want my freedom. Your freedom? 
Yes. But even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. Hmm, help me how? There's a man named Bragg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Alright. Um, I want to know about Thonar. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's silver blood stopped it. Mm. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Hmm. Well, I have questions about this the Forsworn. our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. Hmm. Our struggle is our people's struggle. Take some taproot. And apparently, like, antler skulls. Watch what you're doing! Let's see. We're... We're... Harvest... Oh, uh... Oh my god, this is, uh... Like a full... What is the word? Um... Shrine here, right? We're gonna take any food and drink that isn't nailed down. Salt? Serious? I don't think we can really drink alcohol, unfortunately. We'll definitely take all the taproot, though. Hey, that's... I don't, actually, I don't think that is better than our fists. Oops. Wooden bowl. Anything else? I think that's it. Oh, did we... Yeah, we already looked at that. Alright, not bad. Oh, thank goodness. We didn't get any water, though. Oh, wait a minute. If we... This might work. What are you doing that for? We're gonna get some water. Perfect. Do one more. What's the debuff that I have? Hunger. Beaten down. You're still recovering from the beating you suffered at the hands of your captors. Health, magic, and stamina regen decrease by 50% for 10 minutes. <sighs> yeah, that sounds about right. We eat cabbage until we're not hungry anymore. There we go. Just munch on some raw cabbage. So, what was... Oh, that was like a... What is that? Oh, this is the, the restroom. <laughs> now, who are we talking to? We already go up here? Warning. Don't be one of the idiots who gets too close to the cage. They will eat you. And I don't want to hear about anybody getting eaten without my say. Eaten by who? There's someone there. Is there any way that we can do night vision? Hmm. 
No, it doesn't seem to work. We could become a werewolf. But we still have the restore stamina, so that's pretty good. Um. Oh, oh, we have mage light. Where is it? Where is it? Candlelight? Yeah, that works. This back on though. All right, what's up here? I'm curious. We're gonna see what's down here. Ah, found you. Put up a real fight. Huh. What in the hell are these people? Are they vampires? Bunch of silver ore here. Why are they attacking me? I don't know, but... You're gonna attack me, you die. Oh, wait a minute. We have magic. We'll do... How about fire? Fire burns for a little bit of extra time, right? Yeah, they're like scratching. Oh my goodness, they are vampires. Ooh. Yeah. Necklace of Minor Health increases health by 20 points. Oh, they were dealing with vampires down here. Hey, cool, look. Apparently I had the, the key. Well, I'm glad I didn't try to pick the lock. Oh my god. What happened? Uh, oh, okay. All right, we're going to we're going to leave now. I'm glad they're dead. What the hell? Oh, Boren like gave us his key. Yo, look at this. Armor, heavy armor. A sword, some equipment. Now that's what I'm talking about. Seems a very complicated. Oh, we, we don't have a lockpick for that, yeah. Alrighty then. Alright, there he is. You're Biog, right? Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. Uh, Madnock asked me to tell- asked for you to tell me your story? My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? Um... None of- we're gonna say none of your business. Fine, don't tell me. But I know that look in your eyes. Someone who's faced death at the hands of the law. Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? Yeah, we have Eric. Um, I have friends. They're the only family I need. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modernak once. That was enough. But my little Aether didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. Mm. You think that justifies the murders the Forsworn have committed? I'm not Manadnak! 
I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. Hmm. All right, then. All right, let's head back. All right, we're back. We spoke to him. You're a slave, just like us. Yeah, I spoke to him. Imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Uh, spare me with your speeches. Huh. You know, I'm almost beginning to like you, but you haven't earned your place out of here yet. Have you met Grisvar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Hmm. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. Need something? What are you in for? I did some strange stuff, believe me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So, we'll have to decide if we're going to kill him or not. We'll go talk to him first. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. What the heck? Come on. Uh, let's try flame. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. All right, all right. Hey, little buddy. Oh, and my, oh! Oh! Okay, I've been poisoned, and it's dark. I can't see. Oh. All right, hold on. <laughs> That was like the worst possible time for my light to go out, right? We were doing pretty good though. There's a whoop. Ah! All right. Can, can we do it? Nice! Now we can poison people. Um, two dwarven daggers? Thank you very much. I don't need much else. Oh. And a hide shield, nice. We'll take, oh, oh, we don't have a shield. We'll take that. Obscured passage. What is this? How's our healing aura? Uh, it's still good for another eight minutes. We're getting our shield ready though. This is all new, ah! This is all new to me, ah! All right, now we're talking. <laughs> Two-handed sword. Oh boy. I think we are gonna find everything we need to make our escape. That's a fancy Dwemer stuff. Oh! Is there anything else in here? No, not really. Oh. Yeah, my light. What's this? Bars. 
here. All right. All right. We'll pull it. Wow. Potions, gold, and a ruby. More gold and a ruby and stuff. Yo, we have 200 gold. What's down here? Steel, steel stuff, iron stuff. Where on earth are we? How do we get through there? Oh, it looks like it's a... Uh... This is like a mini dungeon. You know what we can start doing now? That's pretty good. Look at us. It's down there. I don't want to know. I don't know if we'll be able to get back up. Oh. What's this? Dark passage key. Scribbled note. If you're reading this, you've also found the key. Leave them for anyone who may find this path later. Enjoy. Key to what? The key to what? I mean, we have the key, but to what? Oh! I don't know, we want this down. All right, we're gonna, hold on, hold on. We're returning the key. Do what the note says. Left hand mine. Left hand mine? Did we just make our escape? Holy snot chat. We did it. We escaped sitting in a mine. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to be our episode, right? We, uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but I guess we don't really have to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to call that our episode. We... We managed to get out, so that's going to be the end of our episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to reconnect with Eric. We're going to try him, you know, see if he's back in Rorikstead. And I'll see you then. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.